Hi, my name is Lindsay. Um, the device that I will be using in the video is an augmentative communication device. Um, this device that I will be showing how to use um, uses the LAMP program, which stands for Language Acquisition Through Motor Planning. Um, each device that my kids use that I work with um, is completely different, um, but I just wanted to use this LAMP program because I find it very interesting. Um, it can track the nouns, the verbs, adjectives um, that my client is using and how frequently he's using it throughout the day, which is awesome for data collection. Um, this program is located right on his iPad, so he's able to just have his one big iPad um, that has this um, program in it already, which is fantastic. Um, Anyone is able to add words to it. I just actually added his safety questions to it so he can respond to the safety questions that we are asking him, such as, who do you call in an emergency? Um, it can make it bene um, beneficial to that individual because it, it's customizable, which is awesome, um, which is also a pro to this. Um, another pro is that it is easily accessible. Most of the kids that I work with do already have an iPad which they do carry around, so just having this app on it does work. Um, this is better than having to carry a book of pecs around because some of the pecs could go missing and things like that. Um, another pro is that it is easily generalized across environments, um, which there is research that shows that. Also, um, by using this form of communication as opposed to using sign, for example. Um, everyone is able to understand what that individual is trying to say because it is the device is vocally communicating it out as opposed to sign, which not everyone knows what certain signs are. Um, a con to this system um, is that it can be difficult to add or change words that are located on the device. It did take me about an hour or so to try to learn how to add the ones that I needed, um, which meant the kid that I was working with didn't have his device for an hour, which is not helpful. Um, another, con another con to this approach is that um, it can be difficult for the staff to know where each word is located that they're trying to either prompt or have the um, student say. So they need to teach themselves first on where to find the exact word that they are looking for before they are able to teach their client. Um, someone that would be good to use augmentative communication devices with would be anyone who is lacking speech and is unable to communicate um, verbally with others. Um, anyone can be really taught how to use the augmentative communication device. Um, uh, it's very critical that if someone is using uh, the communication device that everyone is on board. So that means if they are going to school, they use it in school, they use it at home, they use it wherever they are throughout the whole day. Um, also, cons consultation with the speech-language pathologist is needed because this is their field. They know how to use these communication devices as opposed to us, we know how to use them, but not everything that can be done with them. Um, the system that I'm going to use, like I said, um, I used with one of my therapists, and we, I had her use just manding for right now, so she would try to reach for her water bottle, and then I would prompt her through her device. So basically, um, the device you click on the icon drink, because for her it was drink water. So you click on the icon drink, it brings you to a list of other things that you can have it, him say. Um, he then would point to drink, and then had to go back to drink and point water, and then it vocally communicated drink water. At that time is when I handed her her water, um, which is a man. But these devices can be used for any verbal operant. Um, like I said, with the intervertibles and the safety questions, things like that. Um, yeah, so enjoy my demonstration. What do you want? Drink. Water. Drink water. Tell me what you want. 
drink. Wow. Drink water. Nice job. Drink. Wow. Nice job. Drink water.